What if LEGO brought back adventurers? Well, today we're remaking classic adventurer sets. Buckle up, folks, because we're diving deep into the jungle, remaking those beloved classic sets from adventurers. But this time, oh, this time, we're using the best that current LEGO pieces have to offer. We've got a fresh new twist, but make no mistake, this is the spirit of adventurers at its finest. Our adventure begins with a brand new set. Jungle Explorer ATV, Red Panda Mission. And who's that figure with the trademark fedora? Looking awfully familiar, huh? Our jungle expedition starts with an ATV, ready to race through the dense forests and perfect for taking some great shots. The model also includes a mysterious Red Panda, but he has a story to tell us. You see, Johnny has been searching for these legendary red pandas for some time. Make no mistake, this is no ordinary red panda. He can talk. You've come far, adventurer, but I carry a warning. Beware, treasure hunter, the hourglass of Eternum must not fall into the wrong hands. Hurry, Sam Sinister has teamed up with Madame Menace. Uh, Madame Menace. With this ominous warning, it's clear the adventurers must return for one last mission of treasure hunting. And for that, we need a headquarters. Welcome my friends to the Adventurers Club. Located in a non-conspicuous building, the Adventurers Club is your one-stop shop for everything you need for an adventure. Maps, charts, hot air balloons and of course guns. It wouldn't be an adventure set without guns. The Adventurers Club, in our fan lore, was originally the home of Professor Q. Roy. So here we have all of his collection, from ancient treasures to the finest literature. Don't worry. Peeping Reed also plays her part here. Notice the large amount of camera equipment, perfect for a true, non-biased journalism. Notice the large references, we even have pieces that celebrate Dino Island. The Adventurers Club would be the perfect midway point set. Not too expensive, but packed with detail. I imagine if our fan theme were real, it would cost around $35. Here, our fan favorite characters uncover the backstory of our new villain, Madame Menace. Once Lady Ignacia Ravenwood, she grew up in a wealthy family known for studying ancient civilizations. But when a rival ruined her father, she lost everything. She believes that by harnessing the power of the legendary Hourglass of Eternal, she could change history, literally. So the adventurers must go after Madame. While Johnny and the gang set off on their quest, I'm also embarking on my own expedition, this time to the Himalayas. My mission? To uncover what made the original adventure sets so special. And for that, I brought along the legendary 7417 Temple of Mount Everest. This set includes our favorite adventure, this time with weather appropriate attire. Then we have Senye Dorje, and his face is quite familiar. Hmm. He's going to guide us on this brave expedition. Let's discover the secrets of this Mount Everest temple, but not before we are confronted by Sam Sinister. Wait, are we calling him Sam Sinister now? Then we have his ally, Nyanga Pa. You can see he's evil because of the mustache. The worst of all, our enemies have a biplane. For some reason, LEGO used to have a weird obsession with biplanes back in the day. The aircraft includes two guns to engage in some epic dogfights. The old silver color, paired with yellow, creates a bold aesthetic. It definitely strikes fear. The main model offers two unique elements, separated by a dangerous bridge in the middle. This creates a unique aesthetic not seen in modern LEGO sets. Beneath the snow of the Himalayas, we find this path, that can take us high up this little ugly rock piece. Then we get the first challenge of our adventure, this dangerous rope bridge. Be careful, if you pull this pin, trouble lies ahead, as now the bridge becomes a trap. If Johnny succeeds in his mission, he'll reach the main temple build, featuring a classic structure with two giant closed doors. A simple wooden plague keeps this door shut tight. The architecture of the temple is quite interesting, showcasing the medium orange color with a traditional pinnacle on top. Inside we have double jeopardy, choose between dying by access or via this trap floor. But if you manage to avoid these traps, you get a special gem, but the real treasure is bigger. Slide this section of rock to reveal the golden sword of Marco Polo. Hidden below the temple, this section is a staple of classic Lego. But our adventure continues as 
a close source quickly informs Johnny of Madam's whereabouts. It's off to Arabia, and off to our next setting this remake of adventurous Desert Troubles. It includes three main buildings, the secret Sam Sinister headquarters, a lively bazaar and a towering structure packed with action. If you pair this set with, say, the Indiana Jones car, you've got yourself a mini playset with endless possibilities. Let's start with the tower. This large set piece really stands out, with its use of dark turquoise, a color LEGO has recently brought back to great effect. The combination of white and dark turquoise gives the build a nostalgic feel, calling back to the heyday of adventures, but nostalgia aside, the tower also comes with some awesome play features. Place a minifigure up top, maybe even Madame Menace herself, and let the battle begin, with multiple rifles mounted along the sides, because it would not be an adventure set without guns. You can set the stage for an epic shootout right here. If you want to find a place to hide, make sure to check out the bazaar. The wooden crates and barrels make for a perfect place to protect yourself. Additionally, Dr. Kilroy can read some books in the meantime. Finally, we have the not-so-secret headquarters of Sam Sinister, or Baron von Baron, depending on who you ask. As all of this was happening, Sam Sinister was able to grab the secret map, and he is now off to China. The heart of LEGO Adventures was always the exploration and sense of discovery, but what made some of the sets fun were the play features, specifically the traps. So for our next model, the trap will be the center of it all. Welcome to the Palace of the Red Panda. Located in the remote province of Yunnan was once the heartland of the Red Panda civilization, a society of intellectuals and innovators that suddenly disappeared. They hold the treasure of the Golden Panda. The set features traditional Chinese architecture. If you pay close attention, you'll notice the model in itself is dilapidated, with broken walls and foliage growing inside. John is quick to head inside, but beware, Sam set up a trap for our hero. By pulling this pin, you can make these sloped rocks fall into Johnny Thunder. However, Johnny avoids such traps by using the back doors. Meanwhile, Madame Menace pushes Sam Sinister, or the Baron, over the edge, literally. As I said, she can't trust anybody. Inside we have the Golden Panda, but before touching it, Johnny gets another warning. Off in the distance, a panda comes along. He tells the story of how the hourglass brought down the Red Panda civilization. In their quest for control, my people unleashed forces they could not contain. We pandas tried to change history, to make ourselves the most important animal, but with it came the destruction of our entire civilization. Johnny must face Madame once more, and maybe for the last time. He knows that if he doesn't stop her, the fate of history could be up in the air. The panda reveals the location of the hourglass, Peru. Here is where Johnny tells the gang the story of Madame. Madame Menace was not born a villain. In her youth, she was part of an adventurer family. Her father was a respected archaeologist, revered for his discoveries of rare artifacts. But all of that changed in a single moment of betrayal. A rival explorer, Sly Boots, jealous of his achievements, sabotaged his greatest expedition. Ever since, Madame has promised to never trust anyone again. She swore that no one would ever have the power to change her fate again. It was then that her obsession with the hourglass of Eternal began. With it, Ignacia believes she could undo the ruin of her family and, most importantly, erase the betrayal. For Johnny Thunder, this mission is personal. He knows the destruction that Madame Menes could bring. It's not just about keeping the hourglass of Eternal out of her hands. It's about stopping her from becoming the monster that the quest for power has made her. But with the stake so high, Johnny knows that there may be no redemption for Madame, only a final confrontation where history itself is at risk. And here we find the last set of this imaginary wave, lost in Peru. Depicting the ancient Incan civilization, this set holds the treasure our heroes were searching for, the hourglass, utilizing that cool dreams piece. Now heroes and villains stand face to face, for an epic battle to discover who will prevail, and we also have Sam Sinister teaming up with Johnny. Somehow, Von Baron has returned. He knows that if Madame succeeds, 
he will never be able to treasure hunt or treasure steal again. The set in itself is perfect for high adventures, as it includes many hidden details you appreciate. The focus of this set is this large centerpiece model, which recreates traditional Incan architecture inspired by Machu Picchu in Peru, and it also features a giant secret trap. Managing to escape the trap, Johnny disarms her, just before she could activate the hourglass. As the ruins begin to collapse, Johnny narrowly escapes with Madame Menace. By saving her life, the hourglass is lost in the ruins. But at this moment, Johnny learns that true treasure isn't about changing the past, but about preserving history. He affirms that some mysteries are best left unsolved, for the good of all. And there we have it, folks, LEGO Adventures returns. Well, at least in spirit. Today we've taken a deep dive into the heart of the jungle, across the desert and even up to the icy peaks of the Andes. Each set represents a different locale, reminiscing about the main chapters in adventurous history. But as with any great adventure, it's time to conclude this chapter. Whether LEGO brings back adventures or not, one thing is for certain, the spirit of these sets lives on in our imagination, in fan creations and even among official LEGO designers who manage to sneak in some easter eggs here and there. Until next time, my friends, keep building, keep exploring and as always, adventure on!